So this tower here in Basel, Switzerland, or Baal, as I say in, in French, probably from Baal, is called the Biz. And um, it is a, um, it's a dominion that uh, it doesn't belong to Switzerland. It's like the Vatican or the city of London or uh, Washington, the Biz. It's very important, very big criminals. Very big criminals dealing with Hitler and and I don't I don't remember exactly how it was but this is uh, the most financial site of the um, of the uh, financial uh, things going on like in the dark like you know uh, there's not many people who know about this so this is the biz B I S um, it's like a territory on its own in Basel, Switzerland. When on August 30th, 1923 in Zurich, the Swiss and the Swiss army under General Ulrich Willer started to finance Hitler with 30,000 Swiss francs, which is half a million dollars today, they already knew that in order to rob Europe of its gold reserves, it needed a special bank to do so. So in 1930, May 17th, when it had become clear that their man would become the next German Chancellor in 1933, the sly Swiss, together with Hitler's bankers Jalmar Schacht and Emil Pohl, founded the Bank für Internationalen Zahlungsausgleich the BITS, B-I-Z, and told the world that its purpose would be for Germany to pay their World War I reparation payments. But the criminal Swiss mind had entirely different plans with it. So here we can see a picture of Yalma Schacht. Yalma is a um, Scandinavian name because his mother, she was the Baroness Constanze Justine Sophie von Eggers and um, so here we can see that again the um, the Per A, the black nobility is involved the pharaonic Per A so um, this guy is of from his mother's side is of pharaonic Per A descent they they, they they did the whole war you know the the pharaohs this is a pharaoh in English, this sinister bank, the Bank of the Nazis, got notorious under the name of the Bank for International Settlements, the BIS, the BIS, who did indeed, on May 26, 1939, stole the gold reserves of Czechoslovakia in England itself. So World War II could be financed. So it is no wonder why the Nazis didn't invite, invade Switzerland. It is curious, though, why the Allies didn't in 1945. But the answer is quite simple, because they're all on the Swiss pay list. All governments in the world are being run through a worldwide web of Freemasons who get their orders from Octogon, the motherland and original home of the Templars. It is indeed this little country, the little dirty pig with the cross that rules the entire world and the Swiss are the biggest crooks in the world who can only lie and cheat and have absolutely no conscience at all. Just a complete lack of it. The Swiss are responsible for all world wars and the murder of millions of people and their children. They brought death, bloodshed, total catastro catastrophe, mass murder and misery over Europe and the Muslim world as well. And no government in the world will ever stand up against them because they're all part of the Templars Mafia of Octagon. Switzerland is called the Little Dirty Pig because of their country's resemblance with a pig, as you can see here on the, uh, on the picture here showing uh, the uh, country Switzerland, the map. So this is a map of Switzerland. Uh, Geneva lies here, 
Bern, the capital is here, Basel is about here, Zurich is here, the Italian speaking part is here, uh, Stad it's about here, and St. Moritz is about here. So this is a map of Switzerland which looks like a pig. And they even call it the dirty little pig with the cross. As we can see in this video, this bank of banks still exists today. It's a central bank of central banks and only deals with central banks. All its members, employees and even their families enjoy total diplomatic immunity and stand above all laws. They can rape a child, do satanic rituals and get away with it. They have carte blanche to violate all human and God's laws. And no legal jurisdiction can be applied to them. No government in the world has inside authority in this bank. And the ground it stands on is extraterritorial, where not even the Swiss police can step into, except when you videotape it from the outside. And then the Swiss police comes and ter terrorizing you. I had to run after I filmed it. This obscure bank made World War II possible by laundering looted gold from for the German Reichsbank and by transferring gold reserves of other European nations to the Nazis. This sinister bank can be compared to a stealth bomber. It flies high and fast, is undetected, has a small crew and carries a huge payload. And if we look at their logo of this bank, it has the same red and white colours as the Swiss Templar's flag of the little dirty pig. Where the square, being us and lower base of the pyramid and hierarchy, being encircled by the oval, which is them. With the crosshairs of a rifle scope aiming at us, the square. The Oval is a Freemason symbol as the Oval Office and many other logos. I'm receiving murder threats from the Swiss Police and Justice Department because I open up my mouth. Please someone help. The Swiss already murdered the Austrian Wolfgang Umfogel in 2010 and many others who talked about the Swiss banksters. Do Google Peter Odensov. He got murdered because he talked too much about the Swiss banks and he had proofs. So they suicided him. Well, it says again the bits, the bank for international uh, financial tra transactions. And look how it is. Oh, they're already looking at me. Look, 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 look. Probably the cops coming now. This is the biggest criminal organization in the world. Here they finance Hitler and all that. So.